Anyway, so Grandpa turns us on to a cheap restaurant and pays for everything. He dramatically rips up his solo movie ticket for the night and gets us wasted at various places. He also bought us this excellent ice cream and Matus Rosé, made in Portugal, the best wine I've ever had, almost like champagne. While Grandpa is boring us to death with his talking and fados singing, Lisa and I are winking at every guy in the bar and restaurant. I mean, these guys, kids and women too, are seriously good looking. The bar we were at was really great. They served almonds and popcorn and had good music, the blues. It was really dark <clears throat> with low ceilings and a peephole door the workers slid open to check us out before we could get in. Well, when we finally escaped from Grandpa's close watch, we ran into this bar right next to the Pension where we met Fernando, the cute bartender, and someone to buy us drinks, Chico. Chico and the man. <laughs> it turns out this guy owns the bar we were at, so we, Lisa and I, go back with him to close it up do coke, smoke hash, and have the best drink I've ever tasted. Creamy Alexander, Brandy Alexander. It tastes like a milkshake. It tastes like heaven. So anyways, then his brother, the bartender there, Lisa liked. She definitely has a type, I guess. Their uncle named Luigi and some, gay, and some guy named Macho jump into this 30-year-old blank gang black gangster car, which doesn't work. We were laughing so hard. We So we all get into this little rabbit or whatever it was, and we're off to the moon, listening to Intimitimos. We arrive at this rich house, go upstairs, bad vibes. I really didn't want to be there. I didn't like any of them or all of them, and out wanders... From the deep realms of sleep, his guess, that's right, his wife. I flipped out, and so did Lisa. I guess both, maybe all of them, were married. The wife was really pretty, and pretty mad. I love listening to the language, though. The guys were cool, despite all, despite the urgings to go buy another motel, once we were all back in the car and on our way back to the pension. All I could think of was sleeping in my own comfortable bed with all my shit around me. So I hopped out of the car and Lisa followed. Good night until morning.